Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you a step-by-step -step guide of all the things you need to do to become a Shopify developer. And I know for sure this is gonna work for you because these are the exact steps that I took back in 2020 when I first became a developer. And hold on, I know what you're thinking, but Patrick, I don't have any coding experience. You don't need any, okay? I will lay out the entire process for you to go from zero and knowing nothing about coding to becoming a Shopify developer. And guess what? Everything in the video was completely free. So if you're ready to learn how to become a developer, learn how to make money with your laptop, and finally have that location freedom you've always dreamed of, let's get started. Okay, so I'll start us off right now. So I actually made a post on Reddit about this, talking about how to become a Shopify developer. And it did pretty well, so we'll start there. Okay, here's the Reddit post in all of its glory. I made this post a little while ago, but so far it's gotten about almost like 3,500 views and 62 shares and a 95% upvote rate, which means that this is something that people in the Shopify development community responded to and they put their stamp of approval on it. So let's go over this. So I'm not gonna read the entire post over here. If you wanna read the whole post yourself, I'll put a link in the description, but I just wanna go over the key parts of this post, right? So I said right here, there's two things you need to learn to get into Shopify development. The first thing is basic web development with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then the second thing is Shopify specific skills like Shopify Liquid and the Shopify API. Let's cover that. Okay, so for the basic web development skills, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So the important part to understand is that a Shopify theme or a Shopify website is essentially just a website hosted on Shopify. So a lot of the things you can do on a regular website is stuff you can also do on Shopify. So specifically to get into this, I recommended to use a platform called Free Code Camp. We're gonna show that off right now. So freecodecamp.org is actually what I used when I got started back in the day with web development. Little quick story for you if you're interested. Back then, back in 2019, I had first graduated from college, uh, couldn't find a job, ended up working at the same hospital my mom worked at, and every day on my lunch break and after work, I'd hop on Free Code Camp and I would do some of the stuff on here. So let's look at what they have on here. So when I was doing this, and then keep in mind, the curriculum is very different now, but back then when I was doing this, I did the responsive web design certification as well as the JavaScript algorithms and data structure certification. And I did a little bit of the front end development library certification. So these three certifications right here will teach you all that you need to know to do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this first one right here is HTML and CSS, and then these two below it are JavaScript. This will cover everything you would need to know about HTML and CSS and JavaScript, and it'll show it to you in a very interactive way. Like this first thing right here, you're learning HTML by actually building something out with them. So this approach worked really well for me because it was a good combination of information without too much handholding. So I had to go in and do the research myself and figure out how stuff worked. Now, if I were doing this over today, and I decided, hey, I want something that's more of a video-based learning approach, what I would do is I would hop onto YouTube and go to the Free Code Camp YouTube channel. Let's check that out right now. The Free Code Camp YouTube channel is a big channel, 10.2 million subscribers. They got videos about everything on here. To be honest, I'm shocked <laughs> that this stuff is free because they're giving out free game. So if you look at the videos and you look up Let's say for example, HTML. You'll find a bunch of courses on here. Learn HTML for beginners, HTML tutorial, HTML and CSS tutorial. So what I recommend is to look up the beginning tutorial videos about HTML, look up the beginning tutorial videos about CSS. Okay, this one is probably good right here. Learn HTML and CSS, full course for beginners, it's about almost five and a half hours, so a lot of content, but it will help you figure out how HTML and CSS works. Now, pro tip, as you're building it out, they're most likely gonna have you build a project. I can see in the description right here, it says, learn HTML and CSS from scratch by building six projects and solving 80 coding challenges. So as you're building out these projects, I want you to add something extra to it. 
add your own little spin on the project. Doing stuff like that will help solidify your knowledge. For example, let's say one of the projects was to build out a product page for a real e-commerce store, right? You're gonna follow along with everything they tell you, and then at the end, you try to add something extra to it. That'll make sure that you understand exactly what it is you just learned. So I'd highly recommend following this course right here, you know, and then doing the projects, and then looking up a similar course for JavaScript. This one is probably good. JavaScript courses for beginners, 2024. This is a recent upload, so you know we're getting the up-to-date JavaScript stuff, right? So I follow those two courses and I would build out projects with that stuff, right? Hold on, what did I say in here? Yeah, this is the same thing I just told you. If you're watching a video course, test yourself by trying to build what you saw in the course and add your own features to it. Doing this is a great way to make sure you understand what you just learned. So once you have a solid understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as like working with a real website, now you're gonna wanna move into the more Shopify specific things. So when learning Shopify development, the first thing you're gonna learn is Shopify theme development and how to use Shopify Liquid. So Shopify Liquid is a language, a template language that was made by Shopify for Shopify themes. So I listed out here three good YouTube channels to follow that talk about Shopify specific stuff. So Coding with Jan, Weekly How, and Chris the Freelancer. Also, you can follow my channel as well because I'm gonna be talking a lot about Shopify development stuff in the coming months. But these are three good established channels to that talk about this stuff. And I mentioned right here, probably a good place to start with understanding Shopify development is looking through the code in Shopify Dawn. So Shopify has a theme called the Shopify Dawn theme. And if you look through it and see how they built it out, how they built out different files, the file structure, different sections, it'll kind of help you understand a bit about what Shopify theme development is all about. Now, of course, at first, it's gonna be really difficult to understand what's going on, but as you learn more and more, things will get a little easier. Also, I think I might've mentioned this. There's a specific course from Shopify about theme development as well. I think it's called, uh, let me see. It's like Shopify Academy, I think. Let me type in academy.shopify.com. Yes, so right here, we have the Shopify Academy. And on the Shopify Academy, they have a whole bunch of courses here related to Shopify development. So I'm gonna say browse all courses and learning paths. Uh, they have a category for developers. Cool. So right here, they have a course called Shopify Development Fundamentals. And they probably go through a bunch of the stuff you'd have to do with Shopify theme development. So once you're getting into Shopify stuff, this is probably a really good place to start. Yep, they have another course right here, Introduction to Shopify Liquid. Another good place to start for you as well. Now, it's important to stick with the fundamental courses here because a lot of these other courses that are here will probably go over your head. So if I were you, on here, I'd probably stick with Shopify Development Fundamentals, Liquid Storefronts for, for theme developers, and I would do Introduction to Shopify Liquid. I'd probably only do those three to start you off because a lot of the other courses are like higher level that you would do after you understand everything. Okay, so yeah, I do those courses from the Shopify Academy and then start looking through the content on the Coding with Jan, Weekly How, and Chris the Freelancer channels. There's also another channel on YouTube called codingphase.com, the coding phase. He has a lot of videos about Shopify. I actually learned a lot of Shopify development stuff from his channel. And the reason why I wouldn't necessarily recommend it now is because a lot of the content is outdated, but he does have a Shopify development playlist right here. I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff in here that's probably still valuable. I mean, the other channels I recommend that I think are more valuable because they have more up-to-date content, but yeah, cool. So you would use all that stuff I just mentioned to learn Shopify theme development. And then I put right here, at this point, once you understand Shopify theme development pretty well, and you did the same things you did before, you start to build some real projects out on Shopify themes. At this point, you have all the information you need to start doing freelance work, 
or to start applying for Shopify developer jobs, you might see it online. Similar to the last section, just to get a sense of what's going on, you're gonna want to do a few projects, you know, Shopify theme. I'm gonna be covering what I think would be good projects on the channel, so if you're interested in that, make sure you're following. And then after that, you're going to want to move into the Shopify app development stuff. So that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Okay, so I put right here, if you wanna take your Shopify development skills to the next level, you wanna get into Shopify app development. Now it's really important to have a very solid understanding of Shopify theme development first, before you get into Shopify app development. Because Shopify theme development will help you understand how Shopify works as a system. And then once you get into app development, it's gonna make things a whole lot easier for you. Shopify app development is the process of creating apps to extend the functionality of an online store built on the Shopify platform. So just like Shopify theme development is pretty much just you making changes to a website on Shopify, Shopify app development is just you making a web application that connects to the Shopify API and Shopify servers. So to get into Shopify app development, you're going to want to get pretty comfortable with backend development. Now backend development can be pretty tricky. So what I recommend is since you already know JavaScript, you're going to learn backend development with JavaScript. So what you can do is you can head back over to Free Code Camp and you can start covering their courses related to backend development with JavaScript. So right here, they have this backend development and API certification with JavaScript. This is a wonderful place to start. This is exactly where I started, what I started when I was doing backend development. Although I don't follow all the stuff they have on here, I made sure I went through this basic node and express course they have on here. Similarly, you could go to the Free Code Camp YouTube channel and you can look up courses related to, to backend development with JavaScript. So if you look up Node.js, you'll find these courses right here. This is probably a good one. Node.js and Express.js full course, and then Node.js tutorials. And then right here, Node.js and Express course build four projects. 10 hour course, very big time commitment. But if you put the time in and go through that, I think you'll have a pretty good understanding of backend development. And similarly, when you're building out the projects like we did before, you wanna make sure you add your own features on top of it after you follow along with the course to make sure you understand what's going on. So once you have a solid understanding of backend development, all you're doing now is you're going to learn how to make use of the Shopify API. So Shopify has their own API documentation. Now, Shopify just recently deprecated their REST admin API. So you're gonna wanna make use of the Shopify GraphQL admin API. Now, before your head starts spinning, you can go on YouTube and probably find some good videos about this. Uh, or you can just follow the channel because I'll be talking a lot about this anyway. If now, uh, let me see if I can find a YouTube channel I could recommend for this. Let me type in Shopify GraphQL API, let's see. So Coding with Jan, again, good channel for this. Weekly How, good channel for this. Another one that I would follow is DevEd. I forgot this guy's name. I don't think, I don't think it's Dev, DevEd, hold on. Dev with Alex, there we go. Dev with Alex is a channel I followed a lot when I was first getting into Shopify development with Shopify app development. Okay, so before we continue, there's a really, 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 really important point that I wanna make to you right now. And I think I talked about this in the post too, right? So once you start getting you getting into Shopify app development, once you understand app development in general with Express and Node.js or whatever language you're using, you might think to yourself, hmm, Shopify has these app development templates that I could use. Maybe I can use that. For example, Shopify has this app development template in Node.js for JavaScript that you could use to quickly get started with Shopify app development. Beautiful, right? Wrong. Now, I actually recommend right here not to use one of the Shopify app development templates. Now, the cool thing about these templates is that it does this thing called abstraction for you. So abstraction in development refers to when something just magically works, like, 
The Shopify app templates, they just magically work. You start them up, you're able to quickly get through all of the set app setup and Shopify auth processes and start building out your app. But the problem with that stuff is when something goes wrong, you don't know what the hell to do. That was the experience I had. I made use of the Shopify app development template for JavaScript. And as soon as something went wrong, literally in the first 10 minutes of using it, I had no idea how to fix it. I went into this crazy rabbit hole of trying to fix it and I ended up wasting weeks and weeks of time trying to work with that template. In the end, I ended up paying someone to show me how Shopify app development works from a very basic and simple Node.js and Express.js setup. So my advice to you is to keep your setup super lean and just use the basics to try to connect to the Shopify API and learn the Shopify app development process. Now it's gonna suck because you're gonna have to figure out how everything works, but the beauty in doing this is that you'll understand how everything works. So whenever you use these templates or whatever language you wanna use, you actually know what's going on. And doing that, you'll be more valuable to your clients, more valuable to your employer, and just more valuable in general when working on Shopify app stuff. And who knows, you might even end up making your own Shopify app or in a Shopify app agency or whatever the case may be. Understanding how it works under the hood is never a bad move. Okay, so the last thing I wanna cover here is some Shopify development resources as well as how I would approach learning this whole thing. So if you were to type into Google, hold on, let's go to google.com. If you were to type into Google, Gil Greenberg, Shopify. Actually, Gil Greenberg Shopify development training plan. Okay, that brings me to Gil Greenberg's GitHub profile. Okay, pin this GitHub profile you see right here, Shopify developer training plan. So this resource is a checklist of all the things you would need to understand about Shopify theme development and Shopify app development, according to Gil Greenberg. Now, Gil Greenberg is a very popular Shopify app developer in the community. So anything he says is definitely good advice. So I would definitely run through this stuff. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I would add to his Shopify theme development stuff personally, but in general, this is a lot of good stuff that you should probably know as a theme developer, or at least have some awareness of its existence. And he has app development stuff here as well. I think a lot of his app development stuff is honestly more useful, but that's just me. Now, this part is super important for you. How should you approach learning all this stuff? If you're completely new to web development and have never coded a day in your life, this is a lot of stuff to learn. So I don't want you to put too many expectations on yourself, okay? Your approach to this should be slow and steady. I don't want you to try to rush through everything and just pack all the information in your brain because if you do it that way, you're not gonna learn anything and you're gonna be very frustrated. So here's what I'd recommend. I'd recommend to break each thing down by what you think you should learn. So if you're completely a beginner, obviously you have to start with basic web development. If you know web development already, then you would be starting with learning Shopify theme development and Shopify Liquid. Either way, wherever you start, you're gonna wanna make sure you spend two to three hours a day learning and practicing every single day, okay? So break out your calendar, put this in your calendar every day, try to get two to three hours. Now, if you can't get two hours, whatever, you put as much time as you can put into it every day, but the goal here is to make sure you're being consistent, okay? And then I think if you put in two to three hours a day, every day, you could learn basic web development and Shopify theme development in three or four months. I think that's very, very possible. And then from there, you can start freelancing. You maybe you start working on Shopify themes. You wanna launch your own theme, start learning about app development, whole bunch of options available to you. you start applying for jobs. Yeah, yeah you, know the, you know the idea. Okay, so that's it. If you follow all the advice I gave you in this video, you now have a roadmap you can follow to be able to get into Shopify development and start working as a Shopify developer. And as I said before, I will be posting this link to this Reddit post that I made in the description of the video so you can go back and review it whenever you want. Okay, thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. Hope you found it helpful. Now, if you're interested, I think you should check out my most recent uploads of the channel. If you're into Shopify development content, it's definitely good information for you. So it should be somewhere on the screen. 
Check that out, and I can't wait to see you on the next video.